I'll f- your wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I actually you know. have a wife, though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody, and welcome to Flagler. Today, we have the crown prince of Baltimore in the building. Give it up for Stavros hey. Halkius, everybody. Hey. Thank you for coming, my man. Appreciate you. I'm, I'm stoked you're here, man. We were talking a lot before the pot, but yeah. I, I'm excited because I think that you are doing it the best right now of, like, like the new guys that are using social media, YouTube, to yeah, like yeah, push yeah. out clips and like build a stand-up career. I think that I think you're doing it the best, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you for having me here. This fucking rocks. Thank you, bro. Before we get into, I just want to say this is fucking insane that this is a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? like, this fucking rocks. I feel like I'm about to be offered a million dollars for you to fuck my wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, this, this feels like a layer. <laughs> would, you, would, you, would you take the million though? Would I take the mill? Yeah. Probably not. Honestly, on, I don't. I'm sorry, dude. I'm a, I'm too much of a villager still. First generation Greek immigrant. I don't want anybody. Nobody gets my to wife. fuck your wife. I'll fuck your wife. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I actually you know, have a wife, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that, yeah, was more, yeah. that was the royal yeah, yeah, wife. Yeah. Like, the, yeah. anyone, anyone's wife, you know? That's philosophically, I'll fuck somebody's wife, but yeah. I don't want my wife I'm fucked. Fucking everybody. That's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I will. I have fucked a couple people's wives. It's pretty nice. But have you really? Poly people, though, like polyamorous people. They Fox. bring you in. Oh, so Polynesians? Ugly. Yeah, poly- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. I, like I, the big ones. Yeah, yeah. I, I fucked the, the Rock's cousins. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you yeah, like, Samoan vibe a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I do, actually. yeah. No, I love their vibe, absolutely. Okay, okay, they ask you, are you, is there like a little bit where you're kind of uh, insulted? Poly oh, means there are people, yeah, they're, I think they're, you know where I'm going I with this. I know where you're going. You know, that's funny. There was Explain a girl. poly real quick. So poly is like an open relationship. It's like, you know, yeah. polyamorous is yeah, basically yeah, yeah. what it means, you know? Yeah. There is a little bit of that. There was one, okay, so there was a girl that I fucked, the first time anybody, anytime I fucked anybody's girlfriend, wife, yeah. whatever, yeah. and I'm the right guy to do it because it's like, it's fun. You know what I mean? I'm a good time. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to, I don't, I'm not going to fucking ruin your wedding. I'm not yeah, showing yeah. up at the wedding. I'm not protesting. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? I'm like, yeah, stop. Yeah. What about what we had? Yeah, it's like, yeah. no, dude. Thank you for showing me your titties. I'm yeah. really happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put me on giggling. the registry. I'll buy you a fucking blender. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm the guy to cheat with. But, um, but yeah, so the first time, actually, there was a girl who, uh, so I was chatting with her online, and it was going really good, and it's like, you know, this very early, I wasn't really popping even. She was just like, something was, she just like, you know, that I like, she just kind of found me. She liked you for you. She bro. liked me for me. Yeah. It felt, it was like a, before the view. It was a, it was a simpler, <laughs> more innocent time. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. somebody with a probably somebody with a charismatic fat father. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's probably what it was. But she was like, "Hey, I got to be honest. We were chatting for a while. You know, sending nudes, the whole thing. And then she's like, "Look, I got to be honest. I have a I have a boyfriend. But don't worry, I'm gonna ask him for an open relationship." And then two weeks later, she was like, "Okay." So I asked him. He said no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then I asked him if I could fuck you specifically. Specifically, and he was like, cool with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that was devastating. It's like, it's like, this guy's like, hey, babe, like, I'm sorry, we can't open it up. I just, I love you too much. I don't want to lose you. And then yeah, she, she showed him a picture of me, and he was yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, you can fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna, we'll be fine. We'll bounce back from that fucking because guy. Because that's where it's kind of insulting. It's yeah, like, yeah. wait, are you saying I can't take your wife? Yeah, yeah. But you know, certainly if I was thinking that way, but I just look at it more as like, Hey, thanks for the pussy, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, thanks. And the man is the girl. Like, it's more like, instead of seeing it as somebody fucking your wife when you don't have one, it's just like, you just have friends that let you suck on their titties. And that yeah. is a, the, plato- the platonic ideal of friendship, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah. It's like, yeah. I don't really like to hang out with dudes that much. Like, yeah. girls are just, you know what I mean? I have like my. Wait, core- you don't like to hang out with guys? I have my core of, like, my boys, yeah. you know what I mean? And then it's like, you know, through comedy I've met, like, you know, like, people that I connect with and yeah. I'll fucking chill with them, but it's yeah. like... Just I'm say not... you don't like hanging with comics, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what you're trying to say. It's no, like, I think, yeah, yeah. no, just You like, watch Love on the Spectrum, you don't need it in your yeah, life. Yeah, 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 yes, absolutely. I'd like to make more eye contact <laughs> than, <laughs> than comedians afford. No, I'm just, look, I'm not making any new 30-year-old friends yeah. that don't do comedy. You know right. what I mean? Like, what, yeah. what, in what situation do I bump into a guy and I'm yeah. like, you're fucking yeah. chill, bro. That was Let's- a good talk we had. 
Huh? You want to do yeah. this against yeah, each other? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's weird. But hang out with a girl. It's just like I like being around. Like women are better. They're nicer. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. they're just, they have higher emotional intelligence. They yeah. smell better. Like everything's better. Yeah. And if you want to fuck them. Higher emotional like, intelligence, you think? Oh, absolutely. Okay, go yeah, on now. They read, they read you a little <laughs> yes. better. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Like my, I'll hang out with my fucking best friends in the world, yeah. right? Yeah. And we haven't seen each other for months. I've been on the road, whatever. Yeah. And then, like, he, my, my buddy was telling me this story where he was like, yeah, I got back, uh, my buddy Eldis, who's my fucking, you know, we've been friends since kindergarten, and he would go back, and his, his, his girlfriend would be like, hey, how, so how's Stav doing? And he's like, uh, pretty good, I guess, you know what I mean? Like, she's like, what's going on with the tour? Like, is he too busy? He's like, uh, yeah, we didn't really talk about it that much, you know? And then he's like, well, what about his brother? I, I hear he's getting married. He's like, oh, yeah, I guess he is, like... We're not, we're calling each other gay. Yeah. We're watching fucking uh, John Wick. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're getting high as shit and we're ordering $300 worth of Chinese food. That's <laughs> that what we're awesome. doing, you know? Mm. It sounds like the perfect French. And that's, that's high emotional intelligence. But that's great. Yeah. And I got that in my life, but I want somebody to ask me how my day is going and mean it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you guys want to say it, or should I just say <laughs> it? Please do. In unison, can I become? <laughs> <laughs> we're about to become best friends with you. You yeah, ready? Yeah. Yeah, I love, I love the support of women. What can I say? I'm a homosexual. <laughs> yeah. And then, and so what I'm saying is when you find someone that you're cool with and you're friends with, yeah. and then she's also like, hey, like, my boyfriend's cool if I fuck my friends. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. sick. You know what Wait, I mean? Hold on, like, this has happened a lot? Like, you... It, it is honestly happening a surprising amount. Are you like a fetish? Maybe, yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, like, there is a type <laughs> of... Yo, Al, why are you laughing at that? I think so. I've yeah. never heard a guy be yeah. called a fetish. Why do you have to oh, call black guys fetish? are fetishes sometimes. Oh, absolutely. oh yeah, I guess. To, like, yeah. I didn't to, think hurt, of it that to hurt a racist father's feelings? Come yeah, on, that's yeah, one yeah, of the most yeah, classic yeah, 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 moves yeah, right, there yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once you, you go know? through all the black guys... You know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get Ron Jeremy. Yeah, if you want Ron Jeremy, but you don't want all that cop... <laughs> you see this guy, you're like, that's going to do some damage. <laughs> Let's see what we got at about when, when a you're, quarter size. When you're sending the nudes, are you, like, having fun with it? Oh, like, yeah, I'm having a blast. Okay, no, so, no, no, meaning, like, are you sending funny nudes? Or are you trying to no, be sexy see, I'm fun. I'm done being, like, that's the other thing about, like, even when you fuck and you have to talk, it's like, I talk my entire life. Can I just bust? Yeah, is this a podcast? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this yeah, a yeah. fucking podcast? I don't want to fucking, you know, I bro, just like. I, I, I saw a clip of you on Santino's podcast, bro. It was so funny. And you're like, can I be honest with you? If. If podcasts didn't pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars, <laughs> yeah. I would never fucking do this. Yes, yeah, yeah. I, I think nobody hates their success more than it's, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. And I, I think it keeps working where you keep going, fuck this. Yeah. And then people just keep going, no, 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 we yeah, want more. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm, a, I'm negging my audience. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I, how you yeah, fuck yeah, wives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You piece of shit. No, I don't. That's the thing. I fuck wives because it's like they're past that. Yeah, they yeah. have, they, they're good, right? They don't need to be fucking <laughs> negged anymore. They just want to have a good like I fuck them because I'm a good time. Yeah, like yeah, I'm a yeah, great yeah. hang. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. also like I am like I'm rich, but I'm all, I grew up poor, so I don't spend money. Like I still have a roommate. Yeah. Like because I like it's he's one of my best friends, but it's still yeah. part of me is like yeah, yeah. Got to keep fucking. So what yeah, I spend yeah. my money on is like you want to come hang do you out? Have we'll a get roommate? a three hundred dollar lunch. Yeah, but like, do you think maybe you have a roommate because you just like someone else to be there when you fuck? Oh, when I fuck, yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. Just fucking with you and a woman, <laughs> yeah. that might be too weird. Oh, interesting. But if there's a guy... There's some masculine energy in, you the, just, in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. I pick up his pheromones. <laughs> yeah. When you're telling the girl, like, yo, just call him honey or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, do, I do like to... I do like... Uh, it is a camaraderie thing, truly. Like, I am, like, fucking... Like I've never, I don't when think you I fuck want to be alone. Wife? Oh, the wife thing. No, no, no. Oh, I'm no. talking about roommate. No, no, no. See, that's the other thing. I don't want. I'm not into the like. I'm not trying to. I don't want him there. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, I uh, thought you're all together. No, no, no. no. I've. Again, so what is he doing? Just hanging. I don't know who the fuck he is. I've never met. I've never met this guy. You know oh, what I, mean? I thought that this. Or is even like... sometimes I do, and it's like he's cool, and I'm like, you're fucking cool, dude. Wait, you know what I mean? So like, when you meet them. Yeah. You're at, like, dinner, or you're meeting them out to, like, drink, or you're meeting them at the house? Okay, so 
uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a case by case basis, right? But <laughs> but like usually we'll go out. There's a few you know. different packages. Like you can yeah, do yeah, yeah, a yeah. deluxe. Explain, thing. Certainly. Explain the well, deluxe. The deluxe. Okay, yeah, yeah. wow, the deluxe. Um, let's I see. I fuck your wife. I use your towel. Yeah, yeah. Well, these guys aren't cucks. These are people who are also getting pussy outside of their relationship, and then they're like, hey, you can also fuck. You know what I mean? Like we don't. I don't care what you do. So like the thing is, I'm Just like. Can't stall cuck, bro. You think so? Because I think I have your village mentality. Village your stuff, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, I agree with you where it's like it would be hard for me to like, if it was the love of my life, it yeah. would be really hard for me to be like, oh, was was oh you and you and Mark hung out? Yeah. Um, it was pretty, how was his penis? Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. sucking his cock cool? <laughs> or just um, hearing her out of breath? Yeah. Like, why are you, or, you like You know what would be That's even worse? Happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Her hair is so fucked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> She's whistling all day. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the best so mood I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Comes home, fucking leave it to Beaver. He's he's dicked down my wife so good. She's fucking making a casserole for the first time. Yeah, that it, honestly, all the other parts and just watching her like get ready would be so weird to me. Yeah. Like I am a little bit, but like again, like I said, if this is somebody who I like, right, and we're just friends and we really do vibe, and it's like come over, we'll get a fucking nice dinner, we fuck, and then we just like hang. And then it's also like, so this has happened where it's like. I'll just like talk to them about my problems with women. And it's like the ultimate friendship. She can't it's say like, shit. No, no, not only can she not say shit, she's happy for me. Yeah. Like that's a, that's like the best friend possible. You know what I mean? Because it's just, she is taking something that just a man cannot offer. Yeah. And if she's cool and she's hot and she's attracted to me, it's like, it's kind of like that, you know, I think we've all at times, it, it was like a little bit of a hack idea where it's like, oh, bro, if we could just all fuck each other, right? Like, I think everybody has that joke, the first, you know, in, in comedy where you're like, oh, wouldn't it, it be cool if guys could fuck? Yeah, If yeah. we were gay, our lives would be so easy. Fuck and it's comedy. Like, like, when we're six, we're like, <laughs> we're going to grow up. Yeah. We're going to have one big house. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah. think we talk about fucking at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's yeah, just yeah. the vibe. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if you can then replace a guy with just a hot girl, you've done that. You've taken what gay guys have, the yeah. one thing they have. You miss <laughs> the tribe, bro. Huh? You miss the tribe. You gotta have the best of both worlds. It's it's both yeah. though, you know. You dip in and out, but yeah, I think honestly, um, it's great and it's like the fucking it's awesome. I love the amount of hilariously undeserved pussy I've been getting, uh, <laughs> just the last couple of years. It's so fun. Has it ever got hairy though? Like not the pussy, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like hairy, a, hairless, like, whatever. Like, yeah. like, like a relationship where like there's fallout, where like oh, like there was a feelings thing, or like the guy got pissed. No, I don't think so. I think like that's the other thing. It's like. I mean, I'm like, sometimes this happens when I'm visiting a city. That's the other nice thing. It's like, mm. it's also the like, when you're on the road, it's just like, people know what's up. You're, you're not going to have a relationship. It's like, it's a fun night. You know right. what I mean? And there's a little bit of that too. And I think like, that's going back to the fetish thing. I think there might be like a, I mean, there definitely is a type of person that's attracted to a fat guy that believes in himself. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely out there. Yeah. And especially because there seems to be like a. What like do a, they look like? Huh? What do they look like? I mean, they are pretty hot. Dude. I mean, it's just like it's just like it depends. But is there like a specific like uh, character trait there's that they really, have? There's really not. I think it's more nothing? of a psychological thing. Really? Um, yeah. And it's also like I, you know, it's Any like cuts or anything like that. Oh my god! Any signs of trauma? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Loud noises scare them. No, like, yeah, 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 yeah. No, all the PT they hide the PTSD pretty yeah. well. As far as I can tell. <laughs> Um, but yeah, obviously, just like I am, it's like their brains aren't correct. Mine, you know what I mean? Like mine isn't either. Like the guy, guy's like sick. I get to fuck someone's wife. You know what I mean? Like, and you just make like a that's like I'm fucking fucked. You, you make the fucked. justification afterwards. It's that's it's the, the like it's the life. fucked up puzzle. It's like yeah. like at a certain point, you're like, well, I'm never fixing this damage, dude. You know, you know what I mean? It's like I just need to find people that. We whatever fucked us up. It's like we just click. You know what I mean? That's that's what you got to do. When once you're thirty, it's like I'll go to therapy. But let's be honest, I'm not fixing myself. You're baked. Really. Yeah, I'm you're fucked. just gonna find out why you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. It's just I'm so glad we were talking before the podcast because like before the podcast, you were break, you're, you're a big socialist and you yeah, were breaking yeah, yeah. down like the philosophy behind it and you were making these really convincing points. But now I'm just like I think you just want people to share their wives. Yeah, 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 yeah. we need a communal yeah. wife this is for pool. too yeah. long. Yeah. The yeah. top one yeah. percent biggest cocks have got ninety nine percent of the pussy, and it's time yeah. it's time to redistribute pussy. Yeah. 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 
was crushing the points. He was talking about the public school system and yeah, politicians yeah, 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 and businesses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I get what it really is. It's an ethos, ethos for sure. And yeah. over and everywhere. Yeah, because you're consistent going yeah. through, through until yeah. you get married. Until I get married, then and until you get then I rich. become a pussy I, Republican. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right yeah. now, right now, you, you right now, more pussy Mao right. Zedong. If you go all right, I think you'd have more fun. You know if what I mean? went alt right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah for, well, it's easy to just do that because they don't respect what you know what I mean. You don't have to respect <laughs> women at all. It's yeah, just yeah. like you know. But um, no, the thing is though, no one's letting you fuck. You have to you have to worry about getting your ass kicked if you fuck an alt right guy's wife. But if you go if you stay on this part of the political oh. spectrum, it's like. Like with poly people, it's like you can fuck someone's wife and they'll like recommend like a Steely Dan album to you afterwards. You know what I mean? What'd you fuck her do? Huh? What'd you fuck her do? Where are you listening to? Oh, like I'm, a, I'm a no yeah. music. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, Steely yeah, Dan, yeah, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. No guns in the Throw house. Throw the Dan, yeah. yeah. You know, you know no. Mark is uh, is also a very big liberal cock. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no, Mark, Mark, big socialist. Yeah, yeah, big time. Big time socialist. Love it. Yeah, not, yeah. not actually. No, no, no. I'm, I'm a, I think I would say I'm economically undecided. Economically undecided. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. but fish, so, like socially liberal, economically yeah, yeah, yeah. on the fence. Yeah, just you're waiting of... to see. You're waiting to see like what kind of raise Schultz gives you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's kind of spot on the money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta see. Yeah, yeah. We might well, unionize. I think I should give some yeah. to you and then maybe some to the other people. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Well, why? I'd be great to do that. Right? What is we even the just point spread it yeah. like, why, 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 why is that helpful to anyone? I'm just saying. Yeah. Like, why you, you, you had me spread advantages. It? How about you yeah. let me spread it? Well, maybe I don't trust you to spread it and maybe we should have a governing body spread it. That would be great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give it to me. I would love to come here and just union. You guys unionize. You just turn off Schultz. Do you want to lead our union? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you unionize? So what would be like this? Strategy? He looked like a union boss, Let's right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I do love, I do love the aesthetics of crooked politicians. That is kind of my whole vibe. Yeah. It's like just fucked up, you know, just like a, a guy, a, a no, a no show job. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. the union delegate thing. I don't know. Let's see. Let's start. I mean, it seems like this is a pretty sick. You know, first of all, everyone gets their own NBA jam. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. for the, you know, not just communal. You, yeah, exactly. you get to take one home. That sounds awesome. You know okay. what I mean? And then you get the, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like that, right? every, Mark every, this day. Yeah. <laughs> the day flagrant split yeah. up. The fucking Yoko Ono. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys think Akash is on vacation? I have him kidnapped and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Until he agrees with my demands. <laughs> your your boys with I don't actually I don't know if your boys but I saw you roasting Hassan. That's my guy. Yeah. So yeah. Hassan, Hassan, I always hit up when something happens in the news. <laughs> yeah. That looks like so blatantly. How do I phrase it? It looks like it looks too easy to make the argument mm -hmm. for the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hit up Hassan. I'm like, what? What am I not yeah, seeing yeah, here? Yeah. Because he'll usually have it. And totally. If he doesn't have anything, I'm like, okay, then we. Then can. we're good. He's like yeah, my yeah. fact checker. He's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he's but awesome. he's fucking talented. He's the best. Because yeah. I was watching. I was, you know, sometimes I watch like some of the streams or whatever like that, and it's a different muscle to just talk. Totally. For fucking. Totally. Four hours. Yeah. Whatever the hell. I saw him eating like dinner once. On yeah, it, and dude. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There could be a break here. It's like. crazy. <laughs> no, I know, I know. I hop on the sh like those. Twitch streamers are just on there for like 10 hours a day. And it's like this constant thing. And I mean, he does, he'll just fucking watch it, you know, like, you know, he'll go through uh, like a YouTube thing or it is, it's literally educational sometimes. But I went on a stream last time and it's like, that's, uh, I found out of him because he started out kind of bashing a clip that we made, oh, not yeah. knowing that we were agreeing with him. Oh, hilarious. So, so it was, yeah, it's yeah, a really yeah, funny yeah. clip because he starts with, oh, here's the Schultz smoke. Yeah. You guys have been waiting for yeah, this. Yeah. This guy ain't shit. Mark's a smart whatever. Yeah, and then yeah. we just start agreeing with everything. And he's like, why don't you guys fucking tell me yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? They're making good points here. Yeah, this is actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I, I like him. I no, think he's, he's, he I think he's like, yeah. Yeah, he's the only problem. He is Turkish, which is an issue. But <laughs> yeah. other than that, yeah. He's yeah, a great yeah. guy. Who likes the Turks? Uh, <laughs> not the Armenians, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I thought they worked that whole thing out. Like, they agreed it didn't so. happen. And yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the agreement? What we'll happened? put it under the rug, yeah. yeah. It is so funny. You don't have to say like, rug. Yeah. <laughs> it is funny because it's like, it is funny because Greek people still are like, it's just like this rivalry from the 1800s. Yeah. It's just like they still don't fuck with Turks. But yeah, it's sports. We're bringing it together. Yeah, it really is. Like, yeah. historically, are you aware why you don't fuck with the Turks? Yeah, I mean, the Ottoman Empire took over Greece and fucking, you know, 
I think it was the 1400s, and then Greece got their independence in 1821. But didn't the Ottoman Empire kind of like let everybody do their thing? Uh, a little bit, depending on like, like Greece stayed Christian, like they kept their own, you know, whatever. Uh, they, we, you know, Albanians went fucking Muslim or whatever, and like yeah. certain certain other places Same, did. They folded, bro? Yeah, they folded. Yeah, they folded, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 they, they folded. They look back at you and they're like, fuck, we could have kept our names. Yeah, I think, well, I think part of it was they didn't want to pay taxes or something. I think, I think it was <laughs> like, cheap. literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the Ottoman Empire allowed you to not. You had to you, pay the tax. If, if you yeah. went Muslim, it was like, yeah. all right, well, you're one of us, whatever. Yeah. Um, but you know, they, they, I, one thing I've, I, Hassan actually told me is that, which is fucking hysterical, is that Turks still to this day, the, you can get out of military service, but you have to prove you're gay. <laughs> and like, and like, and by the way, they don't count the guy who fucks. As gay. They don't, um, tops right. as gay. Yeah. Right. They're like yeah. real old world with it. Yeah. And you, like, what? I was reading this article. It's so fucking funny. They were asking the guy, because he had like a beard, and they were like, yeah. they're like, do you ever wear women's clothing? <laughs> they were like, like they, these motherfuckers do not understand what being gay is. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they wanted him to send a picture of him wearing makeup and women's clothing. Just, that's all it is. And he was like, uh, that's not what being gay is. He was like, will you let me send a picture of me kissing a man? And they were like, we'll accept that. <laughs> and there's like a doctor who has to walk, look at the pictures. And decide if you're gay enough not to be in the yeah, not to be in the military. Yeah, no tongue. Yeah, no tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking straight as hell. <laughs> it's so fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. It is. Uh, fuck. We were talking about um, about like certain, the the most homophobic cultures. How they're kind of the gayest. And they're I'm sure absolutely the gayest. There's like a bit about this somewhere. Because so. the idea of fucking a man is so outrageous Foreign, that you could that hold you hands walking down the street, hands, like you could cuddle. kiss, you could do whatever, yeah. because of course none of you guys are gay. Yeah. yeah. But, cuddle? Yo, oh, literally. Yeah. literally they're, yeah. They're, I'm not joking. In a lot of cultures, like there's so much more male affection because those cultures don't have a lot of male to female affection. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So they're looking for the touch. They just yeah. want you know, people to be more tactile. And by the way, we're saying like, oh, it's so foreign to them. They're also like, 100% molesting boys. <laughs> like, that's another yeah. good point that he brought up. <laughs> they oh, are that's another yeah. good point. That is, that is. The Greek guy would know. Yeah. 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 Hey, that's in the past. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Separate the artist from why, the artist. you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Have you done that bit? That's, yeah, I'm working on a that's bit where it's a like... That's a fucking funny where bit. Where it's like, well, listen, if, we can, if I can't listen to R. Kelly, then you can't do geometry. Yo, <laughs> because... Yeah. because yeah. Michelangelo, Bernini, like, yeah. they, well, Bernini's Italian, right? But, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. these guys had... Every, yeah, Pythagoras, all these motherfuckers. Like, you would teach a kid math and then suck him off. Don't do Dude. that fucking uh, thing yeah. when you pronounce it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you know Pythagoras? Pythagoras, Pythagoras. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You motherfucker. Did you sorry. just do the I didn't marinara? Mean to. I didn't mean to. I try not to. I say gyro. I don't go yiro. Okay. You know what I mean? I try. Okay. It was just so in my head. But that's a great fucking bit. We use... Not only the math, but we we appreciate the art of yeah. all these dudes that were like banging. Hundred percent fucking kids. Where do we where do we draw the line? <laughs> you could use Pythagoras' theorem to draw that line. <laughs> you could use it. Yeah. He actually the angles were little boys' assholes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cute. How open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're gonna be obtuse when I'm done with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this was like some real good nerd comedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it nerd and child funny. rape. You never. Yeah. That's that Venn diagram. The middle is not that big. You, know, you don't Just see Dimitri like. Martin. Going like. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about fucking children in, in antiquity. <laughs> Bro, what a what a great idea though. Yeah, a certain amount of time goes. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's wild. I mean, they they would go. I mean, and like you know, in the Middle East, they're still doing that shit, which is fucking hilarious. And they just don't count it. Doesn't count. I mean, you like you know, you hear about like vets who would come back and be like, "These warlords are fucking kids." Yeah. And they're like, "We are not on the right side." <laughs> like they're just like <laughs> for multiple reasons. Like I mean, you know, we don't have to get into the fucking the war. You know, no, I don't think anyone here is like pro Iraq pro war. war. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not pro <laughs> yeah. war. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it is funny for so many reasons why it was a mistake. But yeah, I mean, they they love to fucking be home be homophobic, misogynistic, and then just. Fuck boys. It's it's a oh, wild. Boy. Usually that is that happens a lot. So 
We're past it now, though. Greeks are Greeks are over it. Now when did you just, guys stop? Now they're just set, about like I would say three years ago. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that was a point. They wouldn't let us get the 2004 Olympics until we stopped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Don't get these five rings unless they keep theirs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, no, now they're just sexually harassing women. Big oh, time. they're into that's, that. Yeah. Oh, big. Well, time. this is the evolution. Yeah, that's that's yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, totally. Absolutely. The American <laughs> girls that show up. Oh, the tourists, big time. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because uh, I got to tell y'all about SeatGeek, okay? Today's app is sponsored by them, and if you didn't know already, SeatGeek is a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. We've got the app on our phones right here by, fest, uh, by, by far and away the best way to buy tickets. So they put all the tickets from all over the Internet into one place uh, to make buying simple, okay, from sports to concerts to festivals, comedy shows. They're all on SeatGeek. I saw Ed Sheeran bought on SeatGeek. I saw the Yankees bought on SeatGeek. I'll never admit I was at a baseball game, but I was, okay? All I'm saying is you can see whatever you want. You just go to SeatGeek and you get those tickets. SeatGeek also wants to make sure you're getting a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for the green dots. Green means it's a good deal. Red means it's bad. Don't worry, by the way, we've got the hookup. Use the code FLAGRANT for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with the promo code FLAGRANT. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. And let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to help you with your crypto. I know you're worried. I know the market's reeling. But let me tell you something. Now is the time to buy if you're ready to be a multi-fucking crypto millionaire in the future. And if you're going to buy, you're going to do with Exodus. That's the one-stop shop all your crypto needs. Simple as that. I know you're like, oh, what, 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 what is Exodus is this place where they only store your crypto and you can only buy crypto on the Internet? No. They got the hard wallets, too. Yank that shit right off the, the internet. Walk around the streets with it, okay? Make a keychain out of it. Do whatever you want to do with your crypto. They stake. You can buy. You can store NFTs. You can do absolutely everything that you need for your crypto needs at Exodus. And... They're going to do some good shit for you. Right now, they're going to do a zero-fee promotion. That's right. You don't have to pay any fees when you're buying your crypto. Think about that. You're getting crypto for the actual price of crypto. All you got to do is go to exodus.com slash zero. That's it. You just go to exodus.com slash zero. You get started at exodus.com slash Z-E-R-O. I'm telling you, you can purchase Bitcoin, Litecoin, Solana, and many other crypto assets at the very true cost with no fees added. Now, let's get back to the show. Yeah, my cousin is a fucking hilarious guy. He, so, like, there's a generation, <laughs> there's a generation of, like, there's a generation of people in Greece that's, like, the when the financial crisis happened, it was, like, if you're anywhere between, like, 40 and, like, I don't know, in your fucking 20s now, it's, like, there just were no jobs. Like, you just yeah. didn't have shit to do. There was nothing to do. So my cousin was like, I think he trained as a chef. Couldn't get any, like, didn't really like it, but couldn't really get any high-end, like, because Greece is so tourism-based anyway. Yeah. The, like, chef is a great job. Um, his brother-in-law was a chef. He was going to hook him up. Couldn't really get any jobs. Didn't like it. And then he was like, fuck it. And just for, like, eight years, he would work at a bakery sometimes when he felt like it. And then he would just go to an island where it's all party, like just a party fucking island, sleep in a tent, bar back at a fucking metal bar and just fuck tourists for four months. And he was like, I'm going to make money. And he would, every time he would, leave, he would have to ask his father for the boat ride back, the ticket for the boat ride back. Like he made no money <laughs> and he just lived a sick life. for Happiest fucking guy you know. Hap I mean, the be and he fucking, some he actually, it's really funny. He got into like, then he went to acting school because he was like, well, why not? No one's getting a job anyway. Yeah, and then he yeah. just like went, like this is how small show business is in Greece. He was just like open to, he just went to like an audition and there was like fucking 10 guys there. And it was like for one of the biggest like comedy, live comedy theaters in the country. The guy liked him and he's just like set now. He's, he really fucking finessed life, honestly. <laughs> he was just getting his dick sucked by 22-year-old Australians for six years and now he's just Became like, an actor. Yeah. Now it's usually actor. the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He really put the work in first. He was like, <laughs> what, what happened with the Greek economy? Um, I mean, really, what happened? I mean, you know, the in, at the in the crux of it, it's like they took out a loan. It was honestly, it was kind of like what happened with the fucking uh, financial crisis here, the mortgage crisis here, where it was like they were giving loans that they knew people couldn't pay, and as long as the bank didn't ask for it, it was never Everything a big deal. Good. And then once the economy started faltering a little bit and they wanted Greece's money back, they were like, well, we don't 
have it. And the fucking irony is they've paid. These, we, these are loans from what, the IMF or something like no, that? No, no, no. This is like fucking was Deutsche like hedge right? funds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, they were like getting international... private loans yeah, from yeah, just yeah. banks? They were getting, they got fucked by it. They got sold out by the like, the, the government made mistakes, right, taking these these loans, yeah. like the center-right party in Greece. And then, um, and then they asked for their money back. And the irony is like, just like how debt completely fucks people in this country, we saw that in Greece where it was like, writ large, where it was like, they paid back the money over like it's bit, it's the interest that fucked that fucks yeah. so it's yeah. it's just to keep these banks bottom lines yeah, good yeah, yeah, an yeah. entire generation of greek people are fucked and it's like that's you know that's why you know we should burn down hedge funds and that kind of thing <laughs> 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 now, that's what, wasn't there something like and again i forget exactly the article i was reading but like 50 percent of people were employed by the state in some way yeah like there was just like a bloated totally and listen don't get me wrong greeks love to have a good time yeah. like there was a lot of fucking they didn't pay taxes like you know i've had people i had people in my family who just like had two jobs that just he ne like uh, i don't i won't say who it is not that anyone yeah, will yeah, be able yeah. to fucking trace it but he was like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. he literally was like a carpenter for the government somehow yeah. and he would just go he would work the night shift sleep in his office and then just wake up and go to his regular job. Oh, and he just wow. was like, and he was just, and then sometimes he wouldn't go to his regular job. He was just like, yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. It's, a, it's a culture that loves to fuck around. Yeah. No one was paying taxes. Yeah. Everyone's taking naps in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? That's, that's, fuck, that's living, baby. That's, that's living. how you want to live. Oh, but this is what we were talking about before the, before the, the, the pod is it like, when you've existed for thousands of years, you start to like refine your culture into totally. the things that like give you joy. Yeah. And you know, toiling away at a factory doesn't exactly give yeah. you joy. And I think the Greeks kind of figured it out. The Spanish have totally. figured it out. Like have all these for eight hours. There's no Greek Gary V's. You know what I mean? There's no well, there used to be though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they yeah, built yeah. civilization, and then they're yeah. like, "Yeah, we can take a break. Take yeah. a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah After yeah. you realize, but you first got to build it. Like, and that's what we we're talking about America. Like right now, we're hustling. Right now, the Gary V works here. Like we work here. Like yeah. you're hustling your fucking yeah, yeah, ass yeah, off. Sure. Like, and I want to talk more about like your plan and how you put out the special. Totally, but totally. like. Um, it, it works in America because everybody's here to grind, but I do think that we'll eventually evolve culturally to a point where we are similar to Europeans that we make fun of now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully. I mean, I also think there's just like... Oh, yeah, that's if you stay intact. That's, that's if thing. you don't get invaded and taken yeah, over totally. and have your culture change for yeah, you. Like, yeah. you get to be France. You get to be Italy. You get yeah. to be Greece where you go, hey, you know what? We should really focus on this cheese. Yeah, 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 proud yeah, yeah. Of this I'm cheese. working four months out of the year. But, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but it's also like, and we were, what we were talking about earlier is like those cultures all knew tyranny, right? Like they had to get break free from like kings. Like they were working forever. And it's like, we're doing that now. Like what's the difference between an Amazon warehouse and a fucking uh, fife, a fiefdom? You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. it's like you're, okay, so you're throwing, you're like not pissing in, you're pissing in a water bottle and packing Fitbits, yeah, for, yeah. you know what I mean for Black Black Friday. Yeah. Is that really that different than like fucking picking turnips all day? Like so like milling the, buckwheat. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. gonna say yes, but I agree <laughs> yeah. with your point. It's entirely different, but I agree with your point. But yeah. but, but specifically, the transition from tyranny to like I'm gonna grind. Well, they I, had to like. What I'm saying is they had to like. Blood, like there was wars. People were died over this shit. Of right? course, and you here know, too. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, but I think what happens is like immediately after there being one person in charge of everything, right? I think once you get your freedom, you want to exercise it to the biggest, to like the most yeah, that you yeah, possibly yeah, can, yeah, right? Yeah. You start going, what can I do and what can my family do? Because you couldn't do shit before. Yeah. And I think you start thinking about self. And I think in America, there's this thought about like, oh, totally. it's, it's just, bi we have a term, it's just business. What does that mean? Yeah. I could fuck you over because it's just business. Right, right, right. Yeah, right, I could right, be an right, asshole right. because there's it's no business. baseline human decency. Yeah, yeah. Morality goes out the window because and, it's business. Well, I also think there's like, like there's a really good branding of the American dream that just like honestly I think doesn't exist. Like oh, I, I, you so I know, much but I just think man. statistically like you're much more you're mu you're way more likely to die in the fucking uh, tax bracket, yeah. economic, socioeconomic bracket that you were born in than you are to to move upwards in America. It's just true. Most people die where they start and. You know, it, and in fact, I mean, this is a long time ago. I stopped being smart 10 years ago. So, <laughs> like, I, I, I dropped out of yeah. college my senior year and I haven't read a book that's not like bullshit since then. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I haven't yeah. read a book that's not like a crime, like about the mafia. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. American but, like, dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Truly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just like, you know, statistically, you just like, we don't have that shot necessarily. Like, individuals do, but it's, it's not like, 
if you work hard, you're not guaranteed. And I fully do believe that. It's like, you know, you give yourself a much better chance. There you go. You give yourself a much better chance, but it's like the idea that like, you know, the like the the working class votes against their um, you know, their interests because they're like, well, when I'm a billionaire, and it's like, buddy, it ain't happening. Okay. You might you might make 70 grand instead of 40. Yeah. But like your the difference between you and a billionaire is like the difference between, you know, like it's fucking hundred percent. Now, remove yourself from it a little bit. You're creating a an idea that people should live through. You're creating like culture. Yeah. You're creating an ethos. And you want people to operate a certain way in society. We need kind of rules, but we also need beliefs, right? Yeah. And if religion isn't the motivating force in society, and unfortunately maybe money is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In order for people to like go work and not just steal from their neighbor, don't they kind of have to believe that one day if they do work hard, that they could potentially get this thing? Isn't that better than them believing, hey, you got no shot? Because if I got no shot, right. I'm going to shoot somebody. <laughs> right. Right? Right. Like, right, 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 I got right. no shot. Like, right. and, and don't get me wrong, it benefits those billionaire dudes you're talking about because it's like, as long as they can keep going, hey, be hopeful, be right. hopeful. You could be me. I'm not going to I'm not yeah. gonna murder you. Right, 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 right. But right, once, right, right. once you tell me there's no chance, I mean, Jeff Bezos can't be on a boat if right. you're telling all of us. 300 million people, of we course. can't, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. has it, right. and Elon's not selling me electric cars. But see, I, I'm with you, but what we're talking about then is just like, is what, a what we're selling, tactic, right? because yeah. in my opinion, that's what's going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? For the vast majority yeah, of people. I guess, I guess you're right. I guess it's like, let's say we all know that. Yeah. What would we still tell people? That does, would we rather tell them this that gets them from 40 grand to 70 grand, even if it's a little bit of a lie? Or would we rather tell them the opposite, which makes them stay at 40 and maybe even goes below? Like, yeah. I, I, I guess I guess to me it's an idea of like, we don't have to tell them shit. The world is what, it, we have the most resources in the history of mankind. Mm. Let, like, let people go to school for free. Yep. Let people fucking go to the doctor. Like if you get cancer, you know, I get, you shouldn't have to fucking mortgage your, you know, put a yeah. second mortgage on your house yep. if like somebody gets sick in your family. Yep. Let people go to the doctor, give people childcare, cover their basics. And then it's like, you know, Go get a fucking part-time job and you're good. You know what I mean? You have the basics covered. Yeah. And it's like, because there is more, like what we're talking about, there's more to life than this pursuit of yeah. fucking money where it's like, yeah. there's the hu baseline humanity shit. Where it's I like, agree with you. Just I agree have with, a yeah. good ass time. There is, that's, yeah. that's, and let's get European with it. Like, but not go drink coffee with your boys for four hours. But that's the thing, not everybody has the privilege of growing up in an ancient city yeah, yeah, with yeah, ancient yeah. culture. Like, yeah. that's also a privilege. Like, you're growing up and there's a fucking, there's a cheese shop down the block that makes cheese. Yeah. And they've been doing that for thousands of years. <laughs> yeah, 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 and, yeah, like, yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I like that cheese. Yeah. In St. Louis, yeah. you grew up in the hood in St. Louis. It's like, what is the thing you're enjoying on a Sunday? Right, right, right. Right? right like, right. Yeah. you're not looking at this beautiful bridge that was built but in the fucking 12th century. I'm with you. I see what you're saying. But I also think, like, <laughs> the fact that there is that, the fact that that exists in St. Louis is the failures of what this country was 100 years ago. Or like, you know You what think I mean? we should have built those things already? What I'm saying is like, yeah, yeah. Like, we're, like, the reason all that inequality exists is because like, you know, look at what happened with the GI Bill and it's like, white people got it, black people didn't. Look what happened What's with the Redline. What's the GI Bill? GI Bill after like World War II. Where oh, it's like yeah, gonna, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, or redlining where it's like- Yeah, yeah. We yeah. had, like, there's so much hopelessness because of, because- just the way our cult society was, like the architecture and our structure was, yeah. inequity, you know what I mean? 100%. So it's like, let's fucking, let's get to a baseline and not yeah. equality because equality, it's like equity is what you want. Where yeah. It's like everyone has a fucking, we're gonna- make, Everybody has a chance. Everyone has a real, this, yeah. a, sh a, a fair shot at it, right? I think that's where a lot of the, like these ideas get misconstrued is that I think you're just going, hey, can't we make it so everyone has a chance? Well, and a lot of people just, a lot of people ignore the fact that there is that inequity and yeah, that some yeah, people- yeah don't even have a chance. Exactly. Like, if everybody had a chance and there were some people that were lazier, you would just go, yeah, that motherfucker's yeah, lazy. Yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. You know, you know how many people, like, I, I, you know, I grew up in Baltimore in Greektown, it's like, so those motherfuckers aren't getting out of Greektown. Yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you know how many yeah. fucking failed DJs I know? <laughs> <laughs> You know how many fucking promote? It's like, yeah, what I'm saying is yeah. that guy should be able to be a fucking loser. Yeah. And if he gets fucking uh, melanoma, he can get it looked at. And That's all I'm saying. And you if know? you're one of the, the the work your ass off grind dudes, oh, then you, you actually want 
complete equity because it proves that you're the truth. hundred percent, yeah. And if then you're it, worried about an e equal playing ground, you're worried that you might have not done it by yourself. Yeah. Which nobody does it by themselves. I right. hate that idea it does, in general. It's impossible. Like everybody needs yeah, luck. Yeah, yeah. Everybody needs get help. Yeah. Needs, yeah, yeah. A team, etc. Yeah. But like, yeah, if you're an if you're one of these guys who's like, I grind and I do it. Just level the playing field. Totally. Like, that's and that's the thing. It's like, you'll have a fucking, then you can, and then it'll, it'll be easier to actually try, like, you know, I got lucky in a lot of ways where it's like, I was healthy when I was doing comedy. Like, yeah. I could afford to like, you know, I lived in a fucking windowless room for four, you know, 400 bucks and like, yeah. nothing bad happened to me. Nothing bad happened to my family. And it's like, you know, and I was able to eke by, but it's like, what if something didn't happen? You know what I mean? What yeah. if I fucking, my buddy fucking sprained his ACL and just had to move out of New York because he couldn't get up and down the fucking stairs. And it's something yeah. that fucking simple. And it's like, and then he's set back for like, you know, that's three years he's got to make up. Whereas like, if you're if you were rich and that happened to you, it's like you go to the doctor immediately. You fuck it. You know what I mean? Like yes. you're, you probably live in a building with an elevator. You know yes. what I mean? Like it's yes. like it's such simple shit that we're talking about. And it's yeah. like yeah. That's the thing. We're go we're gonna have losers. Like most, you know what I mean. Like yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, how yeah. the bell curve works. In you're, you're basically everything. like, I want to call them losers, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I love I love <laughs> shitting on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to shit on more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want the ability to shit on them. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, it's like let them have a comfortable life. It's like, yeah. that's the thing. It's like it's why like, we can shit on athletes. Yeah, because yeah. we know. Exactly. These are the rules. Yeah. Everybody's playing by these same rules. And you and stunk today. You were, yeah, you were dog shit. And yeah. it's fun to be able to say that. It's like your life is so much better than mine. You're taken care of. I'm not really, you know, fucking yeah. with you. And then what it really comes down to is that like what we're talking about, and this is maybe where we differ, where it's like, I do think we should just tax these fucking ultra billionaires because these people have a fucking disease. Is anybody like, against that though? That's what I don't understand. I think they are even like like people are against taxing them. I just feel like people don't understand how they avoid taxation. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. they did, because it's kind of complex, mm -hmm. super complex. Yeah, but if they did understand it, I think that they'd be at their home I mean, people, pitchforks. People that get that's what I'm saying. And that, that's, what are you saying? Yeah, if you get kickbacks from billionaires, then yeah, you are against it. Oh yeah, the people that are benefiting off yeah, of them government. are being yeah, yeah, paid yeah, to yeah, shut yeah. the fuck up. Right, right, right. But the right, average right. person that's like voting against their interests, what you're saying, doesn't realize that these like billionaires, they don't pay themselves a salary, they take loans against their stock, yeah, they yeah, find yeah. ways of to course, not. Of course, of course. And if they knew that, they'd be like, hold on, I'm getting taxed on 40 grand, and yeah. this motherfucker's not getting. Well, it's that it's that one of my favorite videos when Bernie went on Fox News. And all the fucking bullshit main, you know, centrist Democrats were like, yeah. you shouldn't do that. That's the enemy. And it's like, he's up there at Fox News, and within two questions, people are applauding. Because he's just like, these fucking... Because these like, they realize, they're like, oh, shit. Oh, we do need health care. Yeah, like, yeah. I have been... My employer has fucked my ass. Yep. You know what I mean? And it's yep. like, like, and it's it's just... That's what I mean is like, I don't... I'm not fucking smart. I'm not... I don't even consider myself a political guy. I just yeah. think, like, these ideas are so simple. Where no, it's you're like, sharp. I think you're underselling yourself. You know what I'm you're saying? Sharp. No, it's yeah, like... Yeah. I'm not a fucking academic, by but you went stretch. to school for. You were telling me, like, yeah, yeah, for yeah. public policy. Like, I went, yeah. You're also not bullshitting. Like the things you're saying, yeah. you know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but right? I dropped out, and I've mo most of my brain has gone to talking about my penis for the. I've gotten <laughs> very good at talking about my penis. Which just, it is a public policy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, it's a public good. <laughs> if, yeah, yeah, gals, if you're out there, <laughs> this is like Central <laughs> Park. I wonder what would have happened if if they, I mean, like the Democratic establishment, uh, like allowed Bernie to win. Because I really. Let's I wonder if go, Trump yeah. would have beaten Bernie. It would have been an awesome. I think he would have because I think Bernie would have won. Obviously. Yeah, because I don't know what Trump like could bully Bernie about. You couldn't because he's not. There is nothing. He just believe like his his he his beliefs are not. That's the what. That's what I admire about the guy more than anything is like. You know, I had kind of checked out of politics, honestly. I was, like, very yeah. disillusioned with Obama, a, a horrific president, and when you look at what he actually did, and it was, like, and obviously I was, like, I was 18. He's I going was like, for it, baby. Well, he was, he was. Like, I mean, like, look what, what? happened. He got what? worked by the Republicans okay. on, on uh, like, Obamacare sucked dick. Was anybody, is anybody happy with Obamacare? I there was no. Al? Uh, I think some people are. The, the, there was it's no, better than not having. But it was a Republican policy. That Mitt Romney created it. That was, it was his idea. Barely from, a Republican, though. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? It was a. How about what this? What Republican creates health care for the state? Huh? Like, well, what? that's well, that was his big idea. It was that Massachusetts was his, or yeah, whatever mass, it was. The mass thing. It was yeah. yeah so but the whole like, idea was you had. He wasn't like where we need the fucking like single payer is so simple because it's like cut out these fucking leech 
oh, he was too pussy to go for a single well, that, player. And not so just single, like, but he didn't even have like a public option. So essentially what Obamacare was, was like, hey, the way we're going to solve this is by everybody buying private health insurance. And it's like, mm. that didn't fix anything. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, more people are, are covered, but it's like, by the end of it, like I had Obamacare. It was fucking expensive as shit. Yeah. And it didn't cover dog shit. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like the whole thing is a fucking scam. And he got, you know, he got worked by the Republicans, even though he had like a fucking super, super majority, whatever. And then it's like, you look at his foreign policy, it's like, he's bombing fucking, you, you know, guys both just, hate weddings a lot. That's yeah, 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 absolutely, <laughs> yeah. But he listens he, to Outkast, dude. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. His exactly. Wayne's his favorite rapper. Yeah, dude. and it's his like, iPod's awesome. And it's yeah. like, and listen, I fucking love the guy, I was, I was like, I kept waiting, I was like, here it comes. He's gonna you, do something. A lot, a lot so, of us felt you know? Like that. Yeah, yeah, but I think like you're I was so like, engaged. Oh, second term, he's he's gonna he's come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He and just then, needs to get that second. Yeah. And, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was crazy. and then it's like, bro, the second he's out of office, he's hang gliding with a fucking billionaire. He's with Richard Branson yeah. or whatever. Well, who else is he gonna hang with? That's where I have everything. Yeah. It's yeah. like he's just gonna hang with his friends in Hawaii. Like, Don't take the pictures. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, have that's the decency true. to hide to that's lie to us. Zuckerberg on the surfboard. Yeah, you took it, asshole. He thought that was a good picture. Yeah, yeah. There's no paparazzi in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Like, who yeah, could have yeah, taken yeah. it? It's yeah. you and your security guards and your girl. Like, well, that's the other thing. I, the, another thing I talk about all the time is that I don't respect any billionaires whose name I know. You know what I mean? Because like, you they, want motherfuckers to know. Be on an island. But, but Enjoy the money. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not about that. It's about feeling like you're the fucking man. Yes. They want to be, you know 100, what I mean? 100%. I also do think that there are certain people whose company they've become the mascot of. Sure. So, like, for their company's success, they also, like, Elon doesn't have to do any fucking advertising on NBC because he's tweeting and it does, yeah, it's more yeah, effective. Yeah. So he's like, yeah. okay, this is cheaper. It, I, yeah. Me being the mascot is cheaper. He also probably There's likes a psychology to, be to that, that, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. 100%. But, yeah, that's a tricky thing about, I don't know, like, I try to, like, judge, uh, like, a president... I guess within like the um, expectation I have for them, like I, I don't really expect any of them to do anything. That is part of his problem is that he set the bar so high for what you're expecting. It's mm -hmm. like it's like the opposite. he was convincing, convincing with the yeah. spiel, whereas like everyone else, I'm like I don't, I don't, I never thought Biden would do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's like I yeah, Biden, like, dude, Biden is hilarious because it's like his whole career is so funny because it's like. He's the senator from the shittiest state, Delaware. Who gives a fuck about Delaware? Yeah, yeah, and then it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and then it's like, he's he's the like, he he bat, goes to bat for the crime bill. Like he's just like <laughs> he's calling black teenagers super predators. <laughs> and then like when Obama, when they need someone that they're like, hey, Obama, we need a running mate. We're like. Racist white people will be kind of cool. With. Yeah, yeah. And he's like <laughs> Joe, and, then, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and he he got caught plagiarizing JFK speeches yeah, like yeah, four yeah. times. Yeah. Like it's like it, he didn't stop once. And he, it kept happening, and he kept doing it yeah. like more and more into the future, where it's even easier to detect. Yeah. And then Hillary Clinton is so bad at running for president that the Democrats are just like. All right, Joe, you get to be president now. <laughs> it's like they looked around. They tr they were like, uh, Bernie's got real support, and that's okay. To, that's that's where the uh, Obama point finishes, where it's like he clearly is the one who called all those fucking people. Like it, like I think Bernie would have won if if Buttigieg. You think, was, you think it was Obama? I think it was the fucking. Was... I mean, that's who. That's who is the like. I think. Whoever, like, that's who they, that's who they called on to make the call is Obama. You know what I mean? Because oh, it's like, I can see that. Where it's like he's the guy who's like, guys, get him. Because like he didn't endorse Biden. Obama stayed out of it. And then when it became clear that after South Carolina, when fucking Biden won, and like, I mean, right, February 2020 was like so hysterical. Because you felt like sh I did anyway. I was like. Is Bernie gonna fucking win? Because he was up. Yeah. There's no pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like shit's going so good. And then it like it's March and it's like, wait, what the fuck? Just <laughs> Joe Biden? Like I never <laughs> thought Biden was. I was like, this is hilarious. Biden's fucking senile ass is running. Yeah. And then it was like, you know, the all the other ones like they ate themselves. Buttigieg is fake Obama ass and just yeah. like you know. Uh, who Where else the was fuck it? Liz does Warren. Does Buttigieg even come from? Dude, CIA. he was the mayor of. A, yeah. he, is he C, no, no, I mean, is he CIA? I don't know. He was in the military. I, I, he was like, he's just one of those old school. Like, he is. Think about the SGA president at your high school. Mm -hmm. He's the purest, most distilled version of that. Where he's somebody who's wanted to be president since he was fucking <laughs> five years old. He's checked every box. He worked. He literally went to the army so that he could campaign on being in the army. He's yeah. not a guy who does that look like a. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. and I wouldn't be surprised if he had some kind of like you know, 
if it was a little, if a little, little CIA shit was going on. Because he literally was the fucking, he was the mayor of a college town. Explain Notre what, Dame. What little like, CIA like, shit? Like means. okay, like like George. I don't think the average person understands like the sure. governmental influence. Yeah. With certain agencies. Well, if you look at like George, uh, the dad, George uh, H. W. Bush. Yes. Straight up in the CIA. Just like, but just, break this down. Like, how does somebody go from the CIA or be kind of taken by the CIA well, and then be placed into positions of power? Okay, so you know, it's just like, like you look. Uh, so he's he's a good example because it's like he doesn't really have. If you look at his political career, it's like he doesn't really have like that much. Before he's vice president, he's like he's in the army and he's like you know, and obviously though that that family is so like. Storied, which is yeah. like you know his very dad, wealthy family right? from Connecticut, by the way. Hilarious. They're like they're, you know, they're like these down. They're like yeah, Texans, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're from England, Connecticut. Yeah, they're from yeah, Connecticut. Yeah. Fucking went to Yale, all that shit. Yeah. And then it's like you know he was in the army during whatever. I guess World War II. I'm fucking hazy with that shit. And then it's just like, you know, I think he was. I think he's given some kind of title, but it's like. You look at his work, it's just like he he was... All right, guys, we're going to take a break from this podcast real quick. And don't skip this ad because we are partnering with Current, and they're helping us give back to flagrant listeners. We are going to be giving away $5,000, okay? That's 500 to 10 random listeners who sign up at Current.com slash flagrant. So go to Current.com slash flagrant or enter the code flagrant in the app for a chance to win. The giveaway will end June 30th. Now... We all know banks can let us down. We all know banks can have these crazy interest rates. They could just not give out loans. There are plenty of situations where a bank has screwed you over in your life, okay? And you don't have to put up with it anymore. Banking is dominated by a bunch of old companies who don't put their customers first. Current was built to change that, okay? They built everything from the ground up with you in mind and with modern technology and security. And remember, Current wants to help us give back to you guys today. So we are going to be giving away that $5,000. 500 to 10 random people who use our code FLAGRANT. So go to download uh, Current and use our code FLAGRANT or visit current.com slash flagrant for a chance to win. Now remember, Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by a Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial Group. Member FDIC, the current annual percentage yield is variable and may change at any time terms and conditions apply now let's get back to the show all right guys we're gonna take a break for a second we got the beautiful blue light because you know we're throwing the blueies in and having a great old time okay a beautiful time blue chew best boner pill on the market, same active ingredients as inside Cialis or Viagra, but this is the chew, this is the one we rock with, and this is the one that we get busy with. The best boners in the business are coming from the bluey. I'm saying you chew it up, chew it out, simple as that. Happy wife, happy life, happy side chick, happy girlfriend, happy girl that doesn't even know that you're about to do it, but you're on a date. This is the one, this is I mean, this is the key to your joy right here, bluechew.com. And you're going to get it for free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping, bluechew.com. Promo code is flagrant. And you get it for free. You only got to pay $5 shipping. This is a no-brainer, okay? You're welcome. I love you. Let's get back to the show. I don't know. I read this. Fuck, well, I told you I stopped being smart 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, I, read, I, read, I read that book. Um, fuck. Confessions of an Economic Hitman? No, no, no. Uh, it was not, like... Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's kind of a son of a bitch, though. Who's John that? Perkin? Yeah, it's like you do it for years and then profit off of like destroying these companies through these like massive like uh, debt cycles that oh, they yeah, put them yeah. in, and then you write the book about how it's fucked up to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you make yeah, money yeah. doing it, right? Right. And then right. you make money I'm saying both, how you fucked made, up. You it. Little, also in the book, fuck you, also yeah. in the book, he's making him sound like James Bond, like yeah, himself. Yeah, 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 like yeah. in the book, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so I was a young intern and. Uh, <laughs> Older, uh, older executive comes into my office and grabs my knee and says, "I need you to make love to me," or some shit like that. Yeah. What the it, fuck does this have to do with Venezuela, buddy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's just like yeah, but it's like you know, the CIA obviously has has like a, a history of like going and like destabilizing, you know, uh, third world countries and all that kind of shit. They did it, you know. The Cold War that happens all the time. Iran, you look at Iran, where it was like they had a democratically elected. Uh, the sort like social democrat who wanted to nationalize oil, fucking Britain that owned it, America that was getting like they didn't want that shit. So it's like they literally just fucking overthrow the guy. Yep. And Greece it was the same way where it's like 
we had a, a military uh, a military junta in like 67 to 74, and it was only because we had a social democrat, and they were just like kind of nervous. He didn't really even do shit yet. But they were worried that the military just, well, basically what happened is the military was like, we don't like this guy, we're gonna fucking just take over. And America was just like, all right. And then yeah, yeah, and yeah. years later, they're like, so what if it was a communist junta? And they're like, oh, we would have been in there in Maybe. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's just like, and so if you get those like, like, look, I don't know the fucking, the exact. The concept of an independent country is a lot more fragile than people think. Totally. It's like totally. you think that you are Venezuela and you get to make all your own decisions, and you think that you are like Nicaragua, you get to make all your own decisions. You really get to make the decisions that the biggest country, most <laughs> yeah, powerful yeah, country yeah, near yeah, yeah. you wants you to make. Yeah, you have to get in where you fit in in the whole system where it's but isn't like. Isn't that kind of wild to think about? Like, yeah. Like America is really the entire Western part of the globe. Yeah. Because yeah. every other country, maybe Brazil has enough clout to kind of do some shit, but yeah, I don't they can't go too far, I would imagine. Like, they yeah. can't just go straight up, yeah, we want China in here, do whatever you want. Right, right, right. Because right, anytime right. there is that influence from another superpower, all of a sudden, like, oh, that's weird, that president was a bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, like, totally. isn't... Every single time, a de like, a, a, a left-leaning, like, you know... Look at Venezuela. Someone, exactly, Venezuela, yeah. anything, in the, it's like, oh, yeah, it's like, but what But it's not happened? even his leanings, it's who he's... Like who his cohorts are. It's like yeah. it's like oh Russia's getting in here or oh right, China's right, getting. Right. We just go well. It's going to be uncomfortable for you. Yeah, Venezuela's hilarious because it's like he just died of a very rare cancer. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's like yeah, the it's CIA called calling oh. China. A lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. The CIA has a cancer gun, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they do. They have a heart attack gun. Yeah. They have a yeah. cancer gun. No, the heart attack. The heart attack gun is crazy. That's a real thing. Yeah. Or like they put, wait, wait, like what? I, I I saw this on like a fucking meme. So I don't know. This is on. Yeah, like, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. I saw it on iFunny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is completely effective. Yes. But like you basically, it's, it's like shellfish poison. Oh, this is our shit. conspiracy lighting. Oh, I love it. They yeah, take yeah, like yeah, shellfish yeah. poison or some shit and they put it on like basically inside a projectile and then they shoot and then it like enters in their body and gives them a heart attack within like 30 minutes or something. Yeah, I'm sure they got fucking ways to do like so many. <laughs> they, they, they'll, I mean, they're definitely killing motherfuckers on the sneak left yeah. and right for sure, you know? The But, you know, I don't fuck, like, I'm too dumb to remember the exact ways the fucking George H.W. Bush but like if you look it up and you look up his like career gaps and then when he gets to be it looks like, like there is vice some, president some influence yeah 100% and you look at like his and then it, it's just like you look at that shit and you're like man th we don't have fucking control of anything <laughs> you know what I mean where it's like <laughs> do we want it this is the tough question yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. for a lot of us right because it's easy for us to you know sit down we do this every single day on the podcast sit down criticize people's decisions etc yeah. but like one do we want to be making the decisions, like, and choosing the course of American history? And two, do we want to flip that every four years? Yeah. Or do we like knowing that there's some other people really making the big decisions? And every four years, yeah, I we mean, kind of get to put someone over there who gives us some hope, or we hate. Right, right, Like, right. is that easy, easier mm. for us to do? It's easier to watch the theater. Yeah. Like, see, see, that's that to me is, even that line of thinking is like, man, they got us. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, no, but like, maybe. Because, but like... I absolutely think, like, is it going to be easier? No, but it's like, even you look at, like, like even you take away when I say people vote against their interests, but it's like, you just see that people, like, uh, like for example, when, if the abortion ban comes into play, which it yep. seems like, nobody wants that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's coming into play, dog. I, yes, it, it <laughs> I, think it, I think it will at the end of their session, but it's yeah. like, it's just like so much, and, bec and because of the way shit is gerrymandered, and because of the way, like, where you look at, what most people in America actually want, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't happen. So yeah. it, we have this horrible like worst of both worlds where it's yeah. like it's like, well, you voted for it. It's like not really. Yeah. Like it's not really what people wanted. And yeah. I just think ultimately to be like, do we really want to make these decisions is like one step away from being like, we should have a king. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. And it's like, I don't think I, I just can't philosophically, you know. I, what I, I mean? know you, I know it's hard for you to philosophically get there. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I'm not asking you to decide for you. Right. I'm right, asking right. what you think the majority of people, if they were honest with themselves, would say. Like if they were truly like the way that we just ignored the whole Epstein shit, we made cute little t-shirts, but we didn't really demand anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? We yeah. we know who was on the flights. Of course. We didn't demand shit. I know. So Rush hour is too good to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like we yeah. could say how we want <laughs> yeah, something different. Yeah, 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 but yeah. at the end of the day, we're just like Yeah. Like we 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 sit here, we complain, et cetera. 
I mean, we don't. We, we make jokes about it because we acknowledge that we're not actually trying to change the fucking right, world. Right, like, right. We'll be hypocrites. If I we don't want do a it. real job. I want to be able to get my dick sucked. I want Facts. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but at the end of the day, it's like our behavior shows we see the fucked up shit happen. Yeah. And we go, naughty. Right. But as long as life is pretty good. Sure. I'm, if life gets shitty, that's why I'm interested in what happens with like a recession. When yeah. life gets like really difficult, but how, really dude. fucked up, you don't think that- We're close though. No, it's happening. Like, it's right? like, look at the infrastructures crumbling. Like, that's the thing. It's like, they don't even have the decency to just give us health care. But dude- To but, give us roads, you know what I mean? But to that, like, that's what happens. It's like, when, when that's the rich- That's how greedy get, they've gotten. But, that, <laughs> like, but, but they always paid a price for that. Yeah. When the, when the rich get too greedy, right, and the small person, has nothing yeah. except rebellion, yeah. that's when the pitchforks come out. Yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. like, they're kind of pushing it. And you see these American cities that, I'm not saying they were at once like the, the fucking flagship city in America, but like you see these places and you're looking and you're like, how the fuck is this America right. in 2022? This is unbelievable. You, yeah, you're I on the road. The rich have insulated themselves and protected themselves so much where it's like, weeks can't do shit. Like, that, we don't even know true. one, two, how can we affect them? Yeah, and Elon, Elon Musk is like, I don't have a house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're showing we, up to yeah. your house. Yeah. Yeah. I'm homeless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Good luck, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm yeah. just saying, like, you can only push a group of people so far. And I think that they've kept us comfortable and distracted enough. And that is smart. But maybe with the recession, it gets to a point where you do see... I mean, you even saw it during uh, the fucking uh, pandemic when everybody's quarantined and we actually had to sit down for a second and realize what was going on. Yeah. We're like, well, I'd like to protest. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Kidding, what, a Black Lives okay, I'm down with that. Yeah. Asian people, let's protest. It was like, I'm angry, let's go. Yeah. Then shit opened up and we were like, okay, we don't need to really protest yeah, yeah, that yeah, much. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. got us mad at each other, though. 100%. <laughs> like, but I don't think we're ever going to look up. We're just going <laughs> to be Yeah, what, what gets us to look up? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah, because it's so cultural. You need to too. fuck their wives. Bro. Yeah, 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 I will. Dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You really want what to we make need change? Is, what we need is if you, <laughs> listen, if you get terminal cancer. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like, Don't do that. <laughs> Bleep it all out. I'm yeah. sorry. Right? Mark it! <laughs> this is exactly how that's going to play. If you get terminal cancer. Yeah, yeah. Beep, beep, beep. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> you know what has to be done. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Uh, Cross-eyed motherfucker. <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh, I don't know. Dude, that's the thing. It's just like, I don't... It's the, and I don't have... Obviously, I don't have any fucking... I'm a fucking... I don't have any answers, but it is interesting to just like be like, damn, it's just like, can we get a little, can it be a little better? You well, it's, I mean? it's better for you. It's you, better for me. Yeah, you, yeah, you've yeah, been yeah. cooking. I have. Been, I was saying yeah. this in the beginning, but I remember bumping into you at the... Fat black pussy cat, yes, I yeah, think, yeah. and I think so, you were like upstairs, yep. or, and I was yep. like, "Hey man, I, you've been killing it. I've been seeing your stuff pop up on yep. my feed, and that's yeah. usually kind of how I get a bearing, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like who's popping up on my feed that I haven't even been searching for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your stuff started popping up, and then I was seeing a lot of stuff on Instagram, and like, it seemed like you had, you were very methodical." About the release, you have a special out right yeah, now. Yeah, I have a special out right now called yeah, YouTube said crushing that. it. We were talking about fucking people's wives and then <laughs> citing revolution. I forgot to plug my my special. <laughs> no, 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 but yeah, no, live at the lodge room right now. Uh, live at the lodge. Live at the lodge room. Lodge room, and it's on YouTube. On my right YouTube now. channel. Stavros Halkius. Yep. And um, it's crushing. Yeah, we got 1.5 mil in a crushing. week, so that feels wow. good. This is great. Congrats, yeah. Bro. Thank but you, man. They, they, this is not. Hey, I'm gonna throw up a special because I think that that's how it works. You were methodical about this shit. Yeah, I mean. It it was the kind of thing where you're just like, well, what the, f like, because I, you know, I love stand-up comedy. It's the thing that, like, I've dedicated my life to, as dumb as that is. And it's like, it, we really are kind of like, you know, it's hard to, like, get, get anyone to care about stand-up comedy on its own, right? And I was lucky enough to have a fucking, uh, like, you know, my podcast popped and I was doing a couple, you know, and I was just like, had a little fan base there, and I had, you know, my socials, whatever, but I was just like, I need people to pay attention to my stand-up. Mm. And also, people just didn't know 
that I was good at stand up. Like that's the funny thing is when you people know you from a podcast. Know me from a podcast. You do stand up and you kill, so you start thinking, oh, they know I do stand up. I know I'm no good. one. They yeah. have no fucking clue. Had no idea. Until you show them. And that's the thing. I would do it on the road, and it's yeah. like that was fun, and people yeah. would be like, what? Like they'd be like, surprise. They're like yeah, yeah, they yeah. they because the people will just come to see a guy they know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a that's, lot of times it's a meet and greet. Yeah. Tru truly. And you know some people make a good living doing that. <laughs> you know what I well, mean? They get like, one round. Yeah. 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 And it does diminish every. Time. If they're not good, and if they're yeah. good, people start telling their friends, yeah. and then you're fucking. So, and and it was just the kind of thing where I was just like, like I need to get fucking traction going, and I spent, I made a conscious decision that this year was going to be the year that I got my stand up out there, and it kind of helped. The algorithms all kind of pushed me a certain way because it was like you know, people. No one gave a fuck about still images. Everyone wanted fucking reels. They wanted TikToks. They wanted yeah. that shit. And it's like, I'm not learning how to be good at another social platform. You know what I mean? Like that, I'm 33. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. like, but I saw that stand up played really well, right? And I started, I kind of reverse engineered it where it was like, what's fucking working? And it was like, honestly, I told you at the, at the Fat Black where I was like, you were a blueprint. You know what I mean? Where it's like, where it was just like, I saw, and very early on where it was just like, you know, and I also, to be fair, I did, I had that little purist part of me that was just like, this isn't how the fucking, this art form shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Where it's just yeah. like. You sound like a tyrant. <laughs> no, I'm a comedy Republican. Yeah. <laughs> I'm 100% a comedy Republican. Yeah, yeah. Work your way up. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you don't get anything handed to you. Be in the wilderness for 10 years. Yeah. Learn how to get good. Um, so I did have to fight that, but I just saw it. And I was preparing for a special, so I was taping every single show I did. Smart. Because I was just like, I want to know what I'm doing. I wanted to watch myself. And I was like, you know what? Like, maybe there will be, there, maybe there'll be some bits I don't use. And I wasn't even really thinking about the crowd work because that was just kind of something I did for fun. Yeah. And then I went, I taped a whole year's worth of shows, and yeah. I had them. And I was just like, well, I need to build up my YouTube channel before, before drop. I drop, Smart. right? Because I had 25,000 subscribers, which is not bad, but it's, you know, not, not the kind of thing that gets you a million views. And, and I was just like, all right, well, let me just try and post some clips. And but I was like, it's so funny because the crowd work was an accident because I was just like, well, before I have time to go through and decide what I'm going to cut out of my special, yeah. I'll just post a couple of crowd work things here yeah. and there. And they just fucking pop. Yeah. And I was just like, well, I have a ton of this. Yeah. I just kind of did it, you know, because yeah. it's like, I, I think that's... I think it's a good mix. It's you a had, great, yeah. You it, had like a good mix of crowd totally. work on, you had bits, and you were yeah. putting it out, and it was methodical, and it was for maybe how long before you dropped? I So I did, I started in February, and I dropped in June. So it was four months. And I mean, this is, and you create some momentum, you create some curiosity, yeah. not only you create new fans, but they're, you're creating these like portals of entry for yeah, you yeah. on YouTube. And I did everything. I did TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. And then and when you do, you know, a stream with Hassan and it goes up on YouTube, all those people that watch that get recommended a clip and they're like, oh, fuck, I really love yeah. this guy's stamp. So everything else that you do online feeds yeah. what you created. And that was the idea. That was like, let's like, let's, and it was funny because it was like, I kind of saw stand-up and I was like, let me just establish myself as stand-up. But it really is a separate thing where it's like, I kind of established myself as like a crowd work comic. In yeah. a certain, which like, I didn't, I never, like, I just, I've always wanted to be, like, Bird talked about this where he was like, every special I wanted to add, he wanted to add a new thing. Yeah. And I kind of think of like, what's the point of comedy if you're not, you want to be a five tool comic, right? Where you I like, do everything. You add everything, storytell. Like, I was, I started Setup Punch, and then it's like, I did a little crowd work to get my, because I was nervous. I used to be nervous on yeah, stage. Yeah. I was like, let's just try it. Yeah. And then storytelling, and then honestly, podcasting has become one of the, one of the tools. Of you course. know what I mean? And just not hanging everybody out. can do it. Yeah. Not no. everybody can, this is different. There are comics that we think are absolutely amazing on stage. Yeah, genius. But this is very hard for them. Totally, Like totally. just riffing with somebody. Like, yeah. Like, you know, getting and on a funny tangent. Totally. Eye just, contact. Eye contact. It's all part of it. That's yeah, one yeah. of the tools, actually. Yeah, yeah. Eye contact is, yeah, one of the first ones, but it's important. <laughs> and so, yeah, dude, and it was just the kind of thing where I was lucky because I established myself as, like, people knew me from the podcast. And I was, I was pretty funny online, but it wasn't something I cared about. Yeah. And then it was, like, the crowd work kind of popped. Yeah. And then... And then the special was like, that was cool too, because it was like, people are like, well, he's really good at crowd work. And they just assume like, oh, he's on a podcast. He knows how to riff. And yeah. then it was cool. It was actually really gratifying to be like, there's an hour of jokes you're about yeah. to watch that yeah. some of you don't even think I'm capable of. Yeah. So it was great, man. And it was just like, it worked. It worked better than I thought. I mean, the fucking YouTube shit popped off in a way that I was like, truly not imagining. Like yeah. I, I went from 25,000 to like, 
I think right now I have 325,000, you know what yeah, I mean? Where it's just like, that's I was like, what the fuck? And yeah. so, but, but it was cool because it was like, and I've kind of thought about it where it's like, I do have that purest thing, but I also think the way we record stand up in general is fake. Like a special is not being in a room. And what's special, what like, what is awesome about comedy and stand up is that it is the most like, the context changes every night. And the, the what, show what, is the relationship yeah. with the crowd. Yeah, what is the purest thing that you're getting into? Like, Well, I was just saying, like, I wanted to release a well-thought-out hour. Nobody saw any of the bits, and yeah. it all works together, and all. Yeah. The, and it's like, nobody's, it's just like, it'll speak for itself. Yeah. But A, that's not how it works, right? Yeah. That's fucking old-fashioned. That's stupid to think that way. Yeah. And B, it's like, I actually have found that it's like, well, if what's special about stand-up is that you forge a a like unique relationship with every crowd mm -hmm. and there are moments that will never happen again that happen in that crowd and if you figure out a way to do to you know it does you still don't get it. like i'm you know it too it's like so many of your clips are like these awesome organic moments and it comes across but it does it doesn't feel as good as it feels in that room Nothing you get 80% like you get 85% yeah. Yeah. and you get the point across as good or even better than some like recorded stand up yeah. so it's like I actually found like it was, it was like actually I was like, oh, this is actually like I am showing some like really fun moments. And the other thing is, it made me a better comic because I was really in the moment. It's really easy. Yeah. So the first half of the tour, I was just it's polishing who you my are. hour. Yeah. That's who that is your and you have to be you. Reaction. Yes. If yes. you don't have that in you, if yeah. you don't have the pure like funny in you, yeah. And some people don't have it, and that's fine. And they can be yeah. very good comics too. Totally, totally. But if you don't have that pure funny, then you're not going to have that instinct in the moment to do that thing. That's the funniest thing to do in the moment. Yeah. And I think that's why it like penetrates to people. I think yeah, for sure. You know, like I, I, I think special. I'm in a similar boat where like a lot of people know the crowd work stuff. For, I mean, that was an idea to do the crowd work special when we did it from yeah. Alex on our way down yeah. <laughs> in, yeah. a, in yeah. a train. Yeah. To DC. Yes, yes, he yes, goes, yes. you want to just like tape it and you just do the crowd work and then like we'll just we'll put see. it out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Even before that, I released two things that were just bits. Yeah. Like I love, I love bits. Yeah. And I still do love totally, them. Totally, of course. And it's like, and then when I put out the special, I the ideally like refusing these things. But for me, like I just love the most like authentic connection. And yeah. when that connection is real, when we're doing bits, don't get me wrong, like we're pretending we, yeah. we're pretending in the bit. And like, you can tap into something through the bit. That's what you it, can. It's like you tap into the emotion. And for me, when I'm getting a reaction from them, that's where I can tap in and you I can feel like yeah, yeah. feel what I felt when I was originally telling that story totally. or doing that bit. Totally. And then you create this thing that you know isn't real. Yeah. But yeah, feels yeah. fucking feels real. Feels real dude. for sure. So it's like yeah, getting that in a crowd work moment or getting that in a bit moment or, dude, I think there's gonna be a point in my career where I'm like, what if I just did like a one-liner special? Yeah, absolutely. I haven't worked on one-liners. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I admire people who are really good at them. Yeah. Do an act-out special. It's just yeah, only yeah. Just, <laughs> only, like, no, for just real, stool like, work. Just, just, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. I, I just, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think that we should be so rigid with what this totally. thing is. And now that we have the freedom, we had to be rigid before because HBO wasn't paying for some, like, just you to do something random. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah. hey, do the thing that works. Now that we're putting it out, it's whatever the fuck totally. we want it to be. And there's so much, and like I do, like I want to do a crowd work special and I'm th that's the next, like, that's the next big project. Yeah. Where it's like, and I want to like think about the way to do it that's like, you know, How you always you shoot it. You, exactly. Yeah, you like, always want to be. What's the environment? Yeah, totally. push it, push it. You always want to be pushed. And that's what I try to do with my special where it's like, there were some great YouTube specials. There's some great hours out there. Yeah. But I was like, I want this, I just, you have to take Everything has to go to the next level, or you're yeah. not going to stand out. So that's what I I tried to do. It, you know. I also think I mean, it's funny when people call them YouTube specials. Like soon, there will be no other place but yeah. YouTube for a special. It is really funny that like, by accident, like Netflix, HBO, all these like streamers have pushed like some of the best comedy on the fucking YouTube yeah, on their biggest competitor. It's the best. And it was just it was a real. I do think it's it will be a like tactical error on their part. It's huge. You know because it's like. But it's like people watch you. That's, that, for me, it was almost like I, I tell could. them every time I'm on the phone. I'm like, if you just paid me, you'd have a job in the future. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you fucked up. He yeah. really says yeah. that. I said yeah. it. Really I go, if you paid me, yeah, you would yeah, yeah. still be working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. you yeah. didn't. I know. So it is what it is. And and and, and like I like that it can just get out there. Like 
again, for me, the, the biggest thing, about. I just wanted people, people. to see it. People. That's it's people all we care it. about. And Netflix yeah. had, and Netflix thought that like, I think a lot of these networks thought that like we were doing it because it was really important that there was like an end that popped up before we started talking. You just had the people. The yeah. second you don't have the people, it's it's like loyalty. To, this is kind of fucked up to say, but it's true. It's like loyalty to a comedy club. It's yeah. like we all love the club that's yeah. full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah if there's yeah, two yeah, people yeah. in the audience, we're gonna see how many people love that fucking right, club right, every right, time. Like we right. love a nice full. So the same thing. Once you lost the people, like there are people that are putting Netflix specials out. Nobody's watching. Of course, yeah. It's like, wouldn't you rather everybody see that? They're yeah. they're they're putting Netflix specials out. You're putting yours out, and they're seeing that number, and they're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, when yeah, you do yeah, a new yeah. tour, they're gonna see where you're right. performing, mm. and they're gonna go, yeah. "I'm never doing that." Was shit. it was yeah. it worth the hundred grand? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever yeah. it is. And yeah. now they're low. Now they can't afford, you know, because stocks are low. Now they of can't course. afford the big fucking numbers. Yeah. So now they're not paying you the big shit. Yeah, but they're also not finding the next generation that might have loyalty to them. If, you know, if like six months ago someone gave me a fucking huge, you know, I recorded this by myself. I didn't want to fucking pay $40,000, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I would have loved for someone to do it. You're a comedy Republican, bro. I am, yeah, yeah, so I really am. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. who's paying, bro? Like, yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Like, if somebody just hands me a fucking check for $100 million and like, hey, listen, yeah. we want a few specials from you, I'm gonna find a way. 100%. Yes, Roku. Of course. I don't care, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we can make this 100%, happen. 100%, 100%. But at the same time, if-, if Put me on Tubi. Yeah. <laughs> Put me on Tubi, bro. You'll be on Daily Wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ben Shapiro possessed. Yes. Newsmax. Yeah. Yo, it's actually cool to not ever get your wife wet. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, guess, I guess what I'm saying is like, it kills. Yeah, yeah. but if they can't pay you the amount of money that's worth people not seeing it. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. You got to pay me for who's not going to see it. A hundred percent, yeah, yeah. If they can't pay you for who's not going to see it. And nobody's gonna see it. Yeah, buddy, yeah. I'm putting it up here. I'm gonna find another way. I, totally. I have another way. I think, totally, totally. That I'll people will find out about soon. But I, I, I can't think wait. There is a way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk about. Yeah, it I'd, lo I'd yeah, love yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, it's been sick, and I'm really excited. And like, I can't wait to. I mean, I need a little time off because I've been. It's been nine months in a row. And yeah. It's like I'm just fucking too unhealthy. But yeah, I'm gearing up for like a really big 2023, and I just you know. I'm excited to see yeah. the. I get excited when I see guys that have like committed to this strategy because you can really see what happens in their career. And like, yeah. I kind of like, I know what you're about to go through. You know when somebody yeah, says yeah, you're yeah. Gonna, they're gonna watch Game of Thrones for the first time or yeah. something, and you're just like, oh dude, this is gonna be yeah. awesome. Like, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah, about yeah. to go through yeah. and, and like, it's Let's really Let's avoid the red wedding. <laughs> 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 Uh, but then, how will you have sex with women? You're right. <laughs> You're right. No, but Al was with me. We, I remember, yeah. like, we were going on the road, and it was just, it's just really cool. Yeah. No, it's been great. I mean, even this year has been fucking crazy. And that's, I've been really lucky. Like, I just hired two of my best friends. Yeah. And it's just like, that's the other thing. It's like, like I want. Like, yes, I'm a comedy Republican in the way that it's like, I want, I just think you should earn it. And it's like, it's talent. And yeah, you yeah. should, like, it wins out. But also, it's like, I'm happy now, bro. Like, I, I of course, I'll, I'll take it to the, like, you know, the, I'll work, I will not, I'm not gonna stop working hard. I'm in the middle of, like, whatever prime you have, like, it's now. But, like, if if you told me when I was fucking 19 that it's, like, I get to travel, mm -hmm. do he headline clubs, my best friends are with me, and we just, like, my work meetings are, like, you know, a Google meet with my, like, a guy I've known since kindergarten. Yep. I'd be like, this is, I don't, it's can I sign a contract for this to be the rest of my life? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'll, I fucking love it. Yeah, it's it is, awesome. It is, yeah, like, we're, we're really... We're fucking blessed. This is this is, what and that's why I think the world is ending because my life is going well. No, no, <laughs> like, that's, no, no. Why, that's why I think the nuclear holocaust is imminent. Because I'm like, <laughs> things like, are too good right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 no. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, that's that's yeah. why I do believe. And don't get me wrong, we've been incredibly lucky and have very fortunate things happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But totally. like, that's why I do believe in the dream a little bit because, like, like you, you're working with your like my boy Dove that you met is the first friend I met at college. Yeah, do you know what I mean? That's Jamil, awesome. Jamil, who I don't even think is here, is one of my first friends I met in high school. Yeah. Right, I mean, like, Al, I met, I thought he was another guy. Yeah. He DM'd me as a guy who used to do comedy. With, uh, he made up a name. Yeah. It just so happened. So I started messaging back and forth because I love that guy. Yeah. Right? Like, the name was Bob Saget, by the yeah. way. He said, yo, my name's Bob. But it's like, yeah, we've been able to create these things. And, like, meeting Mark, having Mark come on, 
Miles is Mark's buddy from college. Like yeah, that yeah, yeah. kind of thing it's trickles awesome. down, totally. and it's just fucking great. And you're building these things, and I don't know. I guess that's why I'm bullish on this idea of American dream or whatever. Well, here's the thing. What I'll say about it is like, yes, you know it's what I'm possible. Saying? Like, but here's the thing. It's a casino. I love casinos. Yeah. I have a great time at casinos. But it's go. like, I, I happen to hit on the roulette. We're you know the, what I mean? Like, we're the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll hit the, like, we're, li you know, yes. we are, truly, we're the guys at the casinos who know the rules of blackjack and just stay there for hours yeah. doing F it. Give me 51%. Yeah, 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 yeah. 51% yeah, yeah, yeah. chance. And we're we grinding it, it out. Yeah, and we yeah, can, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's eventually like, we get successful yeah. enough and then YouTube finds out and they're like, yeah. you're banned from the fucking... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I don't know. Enjoy it. I guess that's what I'm trying Thanks, to say. Thanks, man. I, no, I'm having a fucking blast. I know there's like, uh, you know, we could have a tendency of like to, you know, figure out all the things that maybe we could be doing or like uh, why we don't deserve or yeah, something like yeah, that. And it kind of like ruins the joy a little bit. Totally. It's one of those things that I've tried really hard to, instead of going, why I shouldn't have it, I go, I'm so lucky. I'm, totally. Right? Like, Well, that's what it is. And, like, I am taking, t like, I know it's kind of, like, my strategy isn't necessarily the soundest because it's, like, I could, I could do really good numbers on the road off the strength of this right now, but I just knew that I needed time off yeah, and I smart. needed to enjoy, like, A, enjoy it, but also just, like, decompress. And it's, like, yeah, what's the point? Evolve, dude. Like, yeah. Don't force out the material. Be a human material. being, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know. At least yeah. for me, I got to care about the shit that I'm talking about. Of course. Bro. Like, so it's, like, of course. It, yeah, you reach the end of your rope. And you need to, yeah. like, find out who, how you're a different person. Yeah. You know, like, how you fucking change. And like. come back and miss it. That's the other thing. Once you miss it, it's like, then the fire is back. Because right now, it's like, I am fucking phoning it in. <laughs> 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 Philly's already sold out. I don't have to plug it. The shows are going to be yeah. bad, folks. <laughs> They try to tell you to do radio. Yeah. You're like, oh, for what? Literally, yeah. yeah. I was like, no. Yeah, yeah, it's like, done. Yeah, we yeah, did the yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited to just fucking get back with the fire and just like do other shit. Have you gotten a lot of Greek love? It started now, like, because the thing is, when I first started doing comedy, like the local Greek people like wanted me to like. Do the Greek shows. Do the Greek yeah. shows. And it's like, you want me to come do, uh, oh, yeah, I'll do my, should I do my ass-eating chunk <laughs> yeah, yeah, at yeah. St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Festival? You know what I mean? It's like, I just was not that comic at all, where it's like, there yeah. was, there's such an ethnic, like, hack circuit. Yeah. Um, but, you know, now I'm, I've been doing comedy, what, 14 years, whatever, and it's like, there in this special, there is a lot of stuff about, like, growing up as an immigrant and having like a Greek family and all this mm -hmm. stuff yeah. that just kind of organically happens. Because it's hilarious. Yeah. It's once They're you, funny people. It's very funny. But they don't like, feel like Greek bits to me. Like yeah. it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm the Greek guy. Well, it's relatable to, like Greek people love that shit and I've gotten a lot of a lot of. But non-Greeks can non appreciate yeah. the it's, joke. It's more yeah, of an yeah. immigrant thing. Than yeah, yeah. Like that's the thing you recognize is that like, the the fish out of water story is what it is. That's why Sebastian kills with more than just Italians. People yes. thought it was oh, all these Italians, right, it's fucking Indians at his show, it's, it's, Muslims, everything. It's my good. dad is also like that. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. family is also like that. It is yeah. the immigrant experience. Yeah. And there's a, it, it's not as um, unique, I guess, as we thought. Totally. No. No. Absolutely. Like everybody thinks that they're existing in their own bubble. Oh, dude, it's so funny because every ethnic group. Is just like everything they say. It's like you know, pff, you know, Greek people. They love to eat. Like you know, there's like black people always late. It's like every cu culture says that about themselves. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, Greek time. It's yeah. like no, yeah. everyone is just the same. <laughs> like white everyone, people are just perfect. I think. Yeah. That's what, yeah. That's what, that's what, that's the ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the final thesis. <laughs> like, except for American whites. Yeah. <laughs> well, good shit, man. I'm stoked yeah, for you, buddy. dude. I really. Uh, Thank you so much. Thanks for having let, me. Let the people know, like, any other place they could... I know the tour is almost yeah, done. Yeah, tour is so. ending, but I will say... Uh I'm taking it real easy in the fall, but there are a couple fall dates. I'm going to be in Denver. I actually, but yeah, I'm going to be in Denver. I'm going to be in Pittsburgh. I'm going to be in Phoenix. I'm doing Carolines in December. Like, so there's a, a handful for me to gear up for 2023. But yeah, just the YouTube channel is really what it is. I mean, I'm really investing in that a lot. I post. I'm letting the special breathe a little bit, but when this, you know, I post every day. I post a short, and then I also twice a week. Uh, post like a longer clip from like a you know either topical stuff crowd work whatever just like a, a three to five minute bit so I do a lot I post a lot on my YouTube channel and I'm there's a couple things I got cooking so just go to the YouTube channel you know Instagram TikTok your, your Instagram what is uh, Stavi Baby Two Stavi Baby 
2. S-T-A-V-V-Y, baby, 2. And, uh, yeah, stavi.biz is my website. I'm going to have some cool merch for the special up there and just a bunch of stuff. So just watch the special. That's that's really what Bet. it is, man. Watch well, the special. listen, we wish you best of luck. Thank you so much for coming on. Thanks my for man. having me, bro. Appreciate yeah. you, Alex. Peace.